Hey everyone, SMG here. Welcome back to another video. I'm going to be reacting to my Decaying Mind in Quarantine by Odd Ones Out. Make sure you watch the original link, subscribe to James, and make sure you like, subscribe, ring that bell to notified, and we get this started in 3, 2, 1. Let's do this shit. Hello everyone, it's me, James. I just wanted to let you know that I'm launching <laughs> this card game called Cafe oh Chaos God. on Kickstarter today. There'll it? be more info That's at the end of the video. Game. This isn't it's some bit. I actually oh, I made a card a game and I worked really hard on it. So please click the link in the description to get your. My name's Joe Exotic. I exploit oh, no, dangerous wild Exotic. animals no. for profit, and that's only the relevant. least reprehensible thing I've done. In this eight-part docu series, I'll show docu you the bad, series. the horrible, and downright disgusting aspects of what it's like to be a polyamorous, meth-addicted tiger king. I'm the real Pokemon master. You hear? And just like that. By watching other garbage humans on his television, James felt ever so slightly at peace while the world crumbled around him. For the first time in months, James smiled. I'll be real with you, being in quarantine has sucked a lot. I miss hanging out with friends, I miss going to non-essential businesses, and I miss wiping my butt with toilet paper instead of my dog. All I've had what? for company has been floof and my own mind. So it's been a little hard to stay motivated during this time. But if staying yeah, home instead of going to Disneyland will save people's lives, then I guess I'll have to make that sacrifice. <sighs> it's so hard to be a good person. Some of the things that have been helping me mentally has been exercise, a positive mindset, and garbage television. I used to think that garbage Everything television was garbage. stupid and a waste of my mortal existence. But as I started watching more garbage, I realized that I've already been fascinated and enjoyed watching garbage content for years. Have you seen the videos I make? I've mm -hmm. said this in my conspiracy ah. video that I love watching crazy people talk for hours. Now take those same people, give them a camera crew and a budget, and you got a brand new show on TLC. What's that? You've never heard of TLC, the learning channel? Well, TLC is channel. full of wonderful programs and documentaries that'll teach you if you become trashy enough, you'll end up on TV. And that's what schools should be teaching. No, this video isn't sponsored by TLC, but if they wanted to sponsor me, I'd say no. I just want to be on an episode of My Strange Addiction. I'll tell you what the addiction is later, TLC. And I also saw One show I've been unhealthily binging is called 90 Day Fiancé. It's yes! about when a boy big ed, meets a big girl, ed. or a girl meets a girl, or a man meets a much younger girl online, and what? they sort of like each other, but they're from different countries, so when they meet each it's other, they have ed. 90 days to decide if they want to get married before their visa expires. It's great that the internet exists so that these clearly desperate people in different countries even have the chance to form a relationship. And it's equally great that the internet exists so we can watch very personal moments of these strangers' lives. The show really shines with the most garbage of couples. I've seen other YouTubers talk about this one specific couple, Big yep. Ed and Rose. Yes. I don't want to make fun of Big Ed's appearance, yep. but let's just say he saves a lot of yep. money on scarves. And turtle... Next. He's a 54-year-old pursuing a relationship and wanting to marry a 23-year-old Filipino woman named Rose. And Ed has a daughter that's six years older than Rose. And he's older than Rose's father. Can you imagine for a second if your mom was six years younger than you? And on top of that, Ed is a huge liar. He lied about his height, he lied about wanting to have kids with her, he's also really mean to Rose. I mean, sure, he's old enough to be her father, so he's probably used to talking down to young people, and a dad telling their kids that their legs are hairy and their breath stinks is justifiable. But this is his girlfriend! At least make her a Bruh. bag lunch first. Even if I thought Big Ed was the best guy in the world, do I think a relationship could work between <laughs> yep, male, people with a 31-year age gap? Well, let's take a look at the math. Here is the half your age plus seven rule graphed out. So if you're 30, then it's socially acceptable to be dating someone who's 22. Now, obviously, this graph isn't set in stone. But for reference, He's really going here's on Big Desmos. Ed's age versus Rose's age. So when Ed was 40 and taking care of his 15-year-old daughter, Rose was 9. So do I think an age gap of 31 can work? Well, mathematically and common sense speaking, not until Ed is 76 and Rose is 45. I think that'll take longer than 90 days, though. The second and third reason I love this show is David and Lana. 
I haven't seen any David YouTubers Lana. talk about this couple, but they need I to. I only know about Meet Big Ed David, and Rose. a 60 year old guy from Vegas who's fallen head over wallet for a Ukrainian woman named Lana. He spent seven years and a quarter of a million US dollars on a relationship where he hasn't even met the other person. He's tried to meet up with Lana on three separate occasions already, but got stood up every single time. Now he's putting all of his credit cards on the table and is willing to risk it all on a fourth trip to the Ukraine to meet his soon to be mail order. Not a channel who doesn't speak English. Long story short, they meet after 13 episodes, David gives her a brand new iPhone X to text him on, only for him to get eternally ghosted because her nails were too long to text him back. Let me remind Bruh. you that they were in contact Bruh. for seven years. Seven That's how years. old Rose was when Ed was 38. Me briefly describing these two's relationship just now was so much of an emotional roller coaster that I don't even need to go back to theme parks anymore. It makes me want to puke, and I hope you can see why I love this show so much. I know that reality TV is fake, and who knows if this entire relationship was scripted and manufactured for the show, but I don't care if it's fake. This smile is real. Watching garbage television all day isn't as fun or and healthy as it may seem, believe it or not. Even though I spent a good portion of this video hyping up trash TV, you should also be doing something productive. Like watching YouTube videos. <laughs> to compensate I do that for all the lot. garbage I watch, I've been exercising more. Right when the pandemic began its exponential spike, I bought a home gym machine and I've been working out three times a week with my friend DJ. DJ and I met because we're both friends with Alan Becker who makes these animations versus animator oh, videos. Yo, yo, and Alan one day Becker. I noticed I that DJ's guy. muscles were a lot like one of my Japanese animes. He was a walking, breathing protagonist that my body dysmorphia walking, had been holding me back from becoming. I reached my skinny hands out to DJ and said, Hey DJ, can, can we work out together? So this is where I put the iPad to talk to DJ. Oh, hey James. This is where I got the treadmill, oh, the oh, hey, weights, James. and this is my favorite piece of equipment, this rag up here so I don't bump my head when I do pull-ups. This is where I keep my air conditioner because it gets very hot in this garage. This is what it used to look like a month ago. Really? Anyway, the reason I started working out more seriously was because people were calling me skinny and other slanderous synonyms like slender and scrawny. And I told oh. my friends that I was hurt by these comments, but they all unanimously agreed that it, it's true. I am a slim Jim. It's important Slender to man. have a reason for working out. Mine is self-loathing. DJ is forcing Bruh. me to push myself. We've only been going for about three months or a whole 90 day fiance. And well, I've already gone from struggling to lift up this much weight to struggling to lift up this much weight. Sorry if I'm flexing too much on you, I'm just proud of my progress. The Holy point is, crap. while trash TV is fun, remember to mix in some productive activities during the day. For example, exercise. You don't need equipment. Do 10 push-ups right now, lose. Clean up after yourself. During these hard times, keeping your space organized and tidy will be a big boost on your mental health. Wear a face mask if you need to go out. Learn how to cook. You should also be eating healthy too. Stop eating so many bagel bites. Watch parkour fails. Remind yourself how parkour safe fails. you are inside. These guys could get COVID and a broken tooth. Wear a face mask if you need to go out. Shave your head. Who cares anymore? Watch competitive sports fishing and get your blood pressure to rise so much that you feel pressured into working out again. And oh my god, how big is that fish? Oh my god, it's a 1200 pound bull shark. They need <laughs> seven people to pull it on the boat and oh my god, is that big Ed? And last the big but not Ed. least, Check out my newest game on Kickstarter. Over the last year, I've been developing a new game called Cafe Chaos. You start the game by choosing a character with a unique ability, of course, target other players, and throw food hey, combos boy in a like band. moldy, double deep fried couch cushion candy, or a frozen chocolate pretzel that's pickled. <laughs> That's uh. actually an illegal move, so don't do that. Avoid taking <laughs> splat points by ducking or using your character's special ability while grabbing more food to throw at opponents. There's a whole bunch of characters to choose from, but I also invited some friends Alan of mine Becker, to Jayden, join the Rebecca. fight. Their cards can be found in the animators pack, and you can see all the other the packs animators. over on my Kickstarter page. Some of these Alan deals Becker, will only be available also, for the 30-day uh, campaign, so well. be sure to check them out oh my before God, they I saw forever. Hopefully, this game Wait, will what? help you get through quarantine as much as it's helped me. <laughs> Thank you all for watching, and wear your seatbelt. Hello, yep. everyone. I hoped you liked my big Ed exclusive sneak big peek Ed into what I've been up oh to my for God. the past six months. I know things are a bit crazy right now, but I hope yeah, you're all keeping busy in your own unique way. Maybe some more mind-numbing than others. 
but hooray, another video is created, and that means another big hooray for my incredible crew. I can't do these videos without them. As you've probably heard, I'm releasing a card game on Kickstarter today, so be sure to check that out. And as always, if you ever decide to go to a foreign country to meet someone that you talk to online for four days, wash your hands and wear your seatbelt. Anyway, that was the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell to notified, make sure you watch your usual link, subscribe to James, and I'll see you guys in the next video, which will probably be the 1K collab if I can get it on time, which I probably will. There, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces. Let the darkness take control.